His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace today His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The meeting reviewed local issues and ways of the reinforcement of the national march to achieve the desired goals and foundations for sustainable development. His Majesty the King confirmed that Bahrain continues with its development process in all fields so as to meet the aspirations of the people towards further progress and prosperity. He expressed pride in the contributions of the people of Bahrain and their efforts to preserve the security and stability of their country, in addition to defending its interests and maintaining its national unity and social fabric. He commended the government's efforts led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister to serve the country and the citizens by elevating the level of services and raising the growth rates in various fields. During the meeting, His Majesty the King congratulated Deputy Interior Minister Lieutenant General Adol bin Khalifa al Fadl and Chief of National Security Agent Sheikh Talal bin Mohammed al Khalifa on the issuance of the Royal Decree for their appointment. He wished them success in bearing their national responsibilities in serving the country and the people, praising their competency and experience which qualifies them for their posts. His Majesty the King also lauded the tremendous efforts exerted by National Security Agency staff to preserve the security and stability of the Kingdom and ensuring the safety of its people. He stressed that Bahrain will remain a state of law and institutions and will always be a home for brotherhood and coexistence amongst everyone. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, meanwhile, thanked His Majesty the King for his directives and wished the newly appointed Deputy Interior Minister and Chief of National Security Agency success in the positions. For their part, Lieutenant General Al Fadl and Sheikh Talal bin Mohammed expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his royal trust and for his wise directives, pledging to exert all efforts to serve the Kingdom and its Bahrain and its people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudabiyah Palace today a number of senior state officials. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of a firm and patriotic stance towards the Kingdom against all attempts aiming to threaten the country's stability and gains. He urged the need for joint national efforts and cooperation to foil all attempts and conspiracies aiming to disrupt Bahrain's unity. He hailed the role of Bahrainis in prioritizing the interests and successfully facing all challenges in the country's path. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed the importance of institutional cooperation in order to enhance the country's economy and achieve further progress. He pointed out that the economic challenges affected by the economic, political and security factors in the region require stronger national efforts in order to overcome these challenges. His Royal Highness then discussed a number of topics of regional and international concern and said that the region's security and stability are targeted, stressing the need for international national unity in order to overcome all challenges and combat terrorism. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudabiyah Palace today a number of family members of the Al Buenin family who commended His Royal Highness's keenness to interact with the people and Bahraini families in different occasions to reinforce the values of brotherhood and the one family spirit within society. The Prime Minister hailed Bahraini society's cohesion, stressing the role of Bahraini families in consolidating the meaning of national unity. He also noted the outstanding role of Bahraini families and members in national action, including the Buenin family, which has contributed greatly in both national and social affairs. The audience, for their part, expressed thanks and gratitude to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for meeting with them and for his keenness to support Bahraini families as they undertake their national responsibility. They also highlighted His Royal Highness's role in the development process of the Kingdom.
A joint Arab and Gulf initiative has been launched in Bahrain to counter continuous Iranian threats and interference in the internal affairs of Arab and Gulf countries. MP Jamal Buhassan will take over as Secretary General of the initiative, which was unveiled on the sidelines of the first edition of the Pan-Arab Forum on Iranian Threats to Arab Human Security. Theme No Rights Without Security, the event was organised by the Arab Federation for Human Rights under the auspices of the Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ahmed Al Mullah. The initiative aims to support the efforts exerted by Arab and Gulf governments as well as organisations to confront Iranian threats and stave off their impact on the future of Arab national security and Gulf societies. The founding committee includes Bahraini MP Jamal Buhassan, Saudi Shura Council member Dr. Fayez al Shahari, Kuwaiti National Assembly member Dr. Abdullah Ahmed al Tariji, Mauritanian MP Mohammed Tabla, and Qatari Shura Council member Rashid Hamad al Medhadi. The Interior Ministry organised the 8th Royal Academy of Police Summer Camp in coordination with Tamkeen. The programme aims to enhance partnerships between societies, a sense of national responsibility, protect the Kingdom's games and prepare youths for a brighter future. The programme started this year and it included several visits to companies, institutions and social centres in addition to holding a number of workshops. Summer programmes contribute to enhancing the skills and abilities of students in different fields under the supervision of qualified instructors and staff. A new initiative delivering performing arts training to children in Bahrain, the seventh wave, it debuted today with the opening of summer workshops at the National Arts Centre. More now on this story from Daniel DePorto. The summer festival may have wrapped up yesterday, but the fun and learning needn't stop for the children of Bahrain. The seventh wave performing arts summer workshop, teaching six to 16 year olds about dance, poetry and theater, opened this morning at the Bahrain Art Center. I'm very happy to see the vibe at the Art Center. I'm delighted to see all the kids enjoying their summer, being here in this beautiful space. And for the first time, the Art Center has been transformed into a studio space with, with proper mirrors and a dance studio vibe. I'm delighted to see the progress and I look forward to, to seeing the end performance, uh, hopefully on the 2nd of September at the Cultural Hall. The seventh wave, supported by the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, the BACA, alongside GEO Productions, is a new initiative delivering international standard training in the performing arts with a local flavour. Now a three-week intensive summer workshop, the seventh wave will establish as a more permanent after-school destination in the new year, with designs on continually expanding its programmes and the age ranges it serves. The school concept is to um, open a performing arts school uh, multimedia, uh, very from dance, music, singing, theater, uh, film, um, but even for example the concept is that we want to do something new so for example kids won't be just learning how to play the piano but we'll actually be doing it on a computer so they'll be learning how to make music. Um, so we're trying to put all the arts together. Our children are so stuck to the screen these days. They are so much into modern technology and we need to incorporate their spirituality and their artistic expression into life. And that's where the idea of the school came. Um, the coverage of the school is going to cover all the seven arts of painting, theater, dancing, poetry, recitations, sculpturing. That's the bigger goal. And of course, with all the artistic events. The seventh wave is still accepting applications for its summer workshop for children and youths aged 6 to 16. The finale gala on September 2nd featuring performances from the students and their teachers, will be open to the public. Reporting for Bahrain Television, I'm Danielle DePorto. Good evening, you're watching the Business News on Bahrain TV. Second Vice Chairman of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Abdel Hamid Al Kohiji, said today the Chamber was finalizing a draft law for investments which will aim to reinforce the competitiveness and attractiveness of the Bahraini market and enhance trust in the investment and business climate in Bahrain. 
He added that the law is to protect investors' interests, encourage their growth, and grant them the, the liberty to leave the market. The draft law will be raised to the Chamber's board for approval, then to the Ministry of Industry, Commerce, and Tourism to take the legislative and executive procedures to have the law issued and implemented. Bahrain oil share index closed today at 1,157.08 points, rising 0.53 above last closing. The fall was in the commercial bank, hotels and tourism sectors. 58 transactions included 1,727,274 shares worth 375,596 BD. Good evening and welcome to the Sports News on Bahrain TV. The patr under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, First Deputy President and Supreme Council for Youth and Sport and the President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, the fourth edition of the Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa Indoor Football League for Youth Centers launches today under the slogan, hashtag meeting of generations through holding four matches in the preliminary round. The preliminary round of the league will continue until Tuesday. The final match and the match that will decide the third and fourth position will be held on September the 3rd. <laughs> 